oh no, you just tried to launch Minecraft and you got exit code one. What do we do? How do we fix it? And most likely you're playing with Minecraft mods. We're going to quickly go through that first and how to fix those issues. But if you don't have Minecraft mods, you're still getting this issue or you've tried everything you know with Minecraft mods and you're still getting this issue. I've got some solutions around graphics drivers and things like that in this video that will really help you out too. So to get started though, we want to go ahead and make sure our Minecraft mods are good. This will work with CurseForge as well. Just open up the Minecraft launcher like this via CurseForge and then go to installations at the top, hover over the installation you want to play. In my case, that's this fabric one here, but this will work with Forge mods, fabric mods. It's actually a troubleshooting process the same on both. Then you want to go into your mods folder here. In here we want to look for some things. So one thing that we see here is that we are using fabric, right? That's what was back here in the Minecraft launcher. However, we have Optifine in here. Optifine's for Forge. We also have mouse tweaks for Forge. Those aren't going to work. So we want to go ahead and, well, we could replace them or delete them. We also have a mod called Jade in here. But wait, 1.20? Mods won't work for newer versions. We're currently, at the time we're recording this, 1.21.8. This will work in the future on other versions, though. But the version you have, if it's 1.22.4, it must say 1.22.4 here as well. They have to match. So the only mod that would work here is Waystones. But this one wouldn't even work. Watch this. If I tried to launch Minecraft with just Waystones, it's also not going to work. As you can see here, we're missing some mods. And this is a very common thing that I wanted to showcase. Often when you try to launch a mod specifically with Fabric, it'll actually tell you what's wrong, and this is pretty easy to read. We can see that Waystones requires the Fabric API, and Waystones requires Balm in order to work. Now, you will still get exit code one in this case, but it's really easy to kind of see what's going on there. To find these compatibility mods that most of the time cause the exit code one issue, if it's not the wrong mod loader or version, for example, Forge mods aren't going to work with Fabric. Fabric mods aren't going to work with Forge. That's what I mean by mod loader. And if the versions are correct, we can go to this on both Modernth and CurseWords. So on Modernth, all you got to do is go to versions, find the version you want. That's going to be Fabric. And then we want that game version we had as well. And then click on it and you can see the required dependencies, the Fabric API and Balm here. We can also do this on CurseForge. So if we go to CurseForge, we can go to Files, and then again we can filter for the version that we want. And then once we are here, we can find this Waystones fabric here. Click on it, and then go to Related Projects. And there is Balm and the Fabric API, and we can download those. Once we download those, again, making sure they're for the correct version and all of that stuff, we will be able to install them into Minecraft no problem. Now, what if you're still having this issue and all your mods are correct? They're for the correct versions, you're getting the compatibility mods, all of that stuff. Well, before we get into that, how to mess from our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting. It's really the easiest and simplest way to play Minecraft with your friends, and it allows you to add mods quickly and easily with one click installation of hundreds of mod packs and even expert live chat support. Let's say you should add some mods and now your server's having issues. That's what expert live chat support is there to do to help you fix those issues. And your support at Simple Game Hosting allows us to continue creating the content we do here at The Breakdown. So check it out. First link down below the breakdown to XYZ and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Now, with that being said, Fabric API is downloaded, all of that. What if you install those and things still aren't working? You've got your mods fixed, all of that. Well, that's where NVIDIA and AMD graphics drivers comes in. Most of the time, this is the persistent, stubborn issue that you're running into when it comes to exit code one with Minecraft if the mods aren't the issue. Number one issue is the mods. Check there first, check the versions, check the mod loaders, check the compatibility mods, the library mods. If those are all good, we can look here. Now, specifically on AMD, that's why I'm here first, this can very commonly happen if you don't have a dedicated graphics card. So if you have a Ryzen CPU and you're using onboard graphics, I meaning you don't have a dedicated GPU, this will often cause exit code one, and you need to come in here and update it. So just click your processor, go through all that, select it, update it. It gives you the software and everything to download and update your CPU. I've just picked a random one here, but you can just download this and update it. Now you can also do this for your GPU if you have an AMD GPU and it can work and really fix things. You can also do this with NVIDIA. This is linked down below. It's the NVIDIA app and once you download it, it will automatically be able to detect if you need drivers and update those drivers if need be. So check this out in the description down below if you have NVIDIA. Otherwise, you have AMD. If you want to quickly know how to know which one you have, you can go ahead and right click down here and then you can click on the task manager. In the task manager on the 
left hand side, we can click on performance. It's going to be this uh, tab here. This next tab is like a little squiggly line and we can see that we have the CPU is an Intel so if you had an AMD CPU that would show here and if you do have a GPU as well it will show Nvidia if this shows AMD you'll need the AMD GPU set from the description but you can see here I would get the Nvidia GPU if I needed to update my CPU I would do that but I've never seen Xcode 1 caused on an Intel processor from basically needing graphics or drivers updates. So I wouldn't worry about that on Intel. This is mostly focusing on AMD and Nvidia. So make sure you update those drivers. And a lot of times that will allow you to fix Xcode 1. Of course, for example, now we can go ahead and click play and Minecraft will open up with Waystones installed. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.